Hans Wormhat. So this is a video on Unix and how Unix love the color orange. So somebody left a comment on one of my previous videos that really emphasized, I don't know, it just made a click, the Nick part of you, Nick. And it, it was like the final piece of the puzzle for me for understanding Nickelodeon. So obviously Nickelodeon and Disney are too big child, you know, indoctrination um, into this tranny culture, creature culture. And that's probably what the Nick in Nick L. Odeon stands for. Nick for you, Nick. And uh, so I'll just do a quick breakdown of, of Nick L. Odeon. So Nick for you, Nick. L, it's one of their words for God. They like using that. And Odeon, I think, is the word odious means like repulsive and disgusting. So Nickelodeon, really, it means like a repulsive and disgusting uh, tranny, eunuch. At least that's my guess. And so, of course, Nickelodeon is very orange. There's a video about uh, Unix and orange. The, I mean, it's the biggest color for Nickelodeon, orange. Huge color. And then also think about Keenan and Kel. Do you remember Keenan and Kel? Remember what Kel was obsessed with? Kel uh, would always say that Kel loves orange soda. <laughs> so it wasn't grape soda or Coke or root beer. No. Kel loves orange soda. Of course. And uh, so just more Nick thing. I'll just go through the Nicks, things I have written down for Nick. Stevie Nicks. It's a, talking about Unix. There's a basketball team, the Knicks. So the Unix. And I guess Nick is short for Knickerbocker, which I guess is uh, it's a type of pants. So these trannies, they always come up with the ludicrous words for things. And uh, ridiculous fake names, Humperdinck, and these things, Knickerbocker, it has the tranny flair to it. You you start to understand the way they operate. Uh, but I guess Knickerbocker is a nickname. So nickname might come from Munich. I don't know. Uh, Knickerbocker is a nickname for New Yorkers, I guess. And we know that New York is full of trannies, tranny hive. And these pants, they look like MC Hammer pants, so they hide the hips. Fashion, it's all for the trannies. <clears throat> so yeah, the Knicks. And, uh, oh, to nick oneself? What, what does that mean if you nick yourself? It means you cut yourself. It's a, it's a eunuch reference. If you nick yourself, you cut yourself. Um, I still thought of knickknacks. The, the trannies have weird knickknacks underneath their, their pants. You never know. Never know what you're going to see. <laughs> all right, so, I mean, that's it for nicks that I really thought of. Um, there's probably more out there. Of course, there's a name Nick and Nick, Nicholas, but Nicholas, <laughs> Nicholas and Nicole. Maybe that's where that comes from. So for the rest of the video, I just want to talk about the color orange because I have a lot of I have a lot of memories that involve orange that I haven't really talked about. But first, I'll just do a broad overview because I don't I, I have a video about orange, but I don't talk in it. So let me just make some obvious orange references. You'll always see street signs are in orange. There's orange cones all over the place. Uh, school buses are orange. Fire hydrants, a lot of times they paint them orange. Um, a lot of stuff is just painted orange or orange. And they, uh, a lot of times they have excuses for that. Like, oh, well, it's it's not a, a color you see in nature a lot and it's bright. Okay, well, there's all sorts of colors that you don't see in nature a lot that are bright. Why does it have to be orange all the time? So they give stupid excuses for, for why they'll always use orange. So trans, you know what the, the Department of Transportation is called in California? Caltrans. Caltrans. It's right in your face. Um, oh, really quick, I'll talk about just the word orange because I don't think I've ever heard people say this. Or, O-R in French means gold. And ange, so orange, A-N-G-E in French means angel. So it's almost, it's like a golden idol or a golden angel. Maybe that's another reason they like that. Um, other orange stuff. Uh, NASA, they're always wearing orange. Uh, <laughs> of course, Tang. What do they drink up in outer space? Tang is orange. orange why is there always orange Julius at the, at the malls? Um, so sports has so many sports teams are orange. Uh, basketballs are orange. There's a bass, I think basketball, I don't know. There's a team out there called the Syracuse Orange. Just there's Orange County in uh, in Los Angeles, the City of Angels. So near LA, you got Orange County. There's even the City of Orange. And I've always thought that, that sounds so weird. Who who says City of Orange? But yeah, of course. 
And, uh, oh, this is kind of a new one. Have you guys been seeing, I've just been seeing advertisements for this all over a new, like fitness place called orange theory. That's how, you know, how do you know that? Well, let's say you want to start a business and you're one of these tranny creatures, you name it something orange, or you make sure that your, you make sure that your symbol is like a triangle with a capstone and you make sure that you use orange all over your stuff. It's like a really obvious indicator that you're one of them. You can look up any celebrity and you'll see them wearing like ridiculously bright, ugly orange stuff. And you're like, it doesn't look good. Nobody would actually buy that. It's because they're showcasing the color. They're not, uh, they don't think it looks good. They're, they're showing their, their team colors. So I guess I can talk about that for a second because I think that we should go ahead and start decoding these things. I don't think it's that complicated. These creatures, some of them are so stupid. So if they can figure it out, if they can do all the orange and the purple and throw the hand signs, I don't think it's going to be that complicated to decode this stuff. And in my opinion, what I think orange and purple represent, well, so purple has the royal aspect to it, of course, but I think that in general, orange, probably even stronger than purple, it's a unity color. It's, it's the color that binds them all together. They, they all agree on orange, that they're going to display orange and they're going to have orange stuff and orange is their color. Um, I think purple is also a similar, similar thing because, you know, you have red versus blue, but then you have the union of them purple. Uh, but I think orange really is a color of unity. It means that they're all united together. If you go watch any YouTube, any YouTube tranny channel out there, you'll see orange present in either random background objects or they'll just be directly wearing orange um, or they'll just have a bunch of oranges on the table or something like that. So that's what I think it means. I think orange, it means that you're on team tranny. You're, you're united for the tranny cause. Oh, I just thought of the California flowers, the California poppy, that's orange. Uh, so a lot of people just in real life, their favorite colors are going to be orange. That's something that I've noticed. It's just, I, I remember way too many people from my past being like, oh yeah, orange is my favorite color. I just always, whenever people would tell me that orange is their favorite color, I'd be like, really? Like you have all the colors and you chose orange to be your favorite color. It's now I know why orange is their favorite color. So my personal stories, um, you know, personal memories, this one always annoyed me. So I was going on uh, on a trip to Europe, and right before I go, my my mom buys me a backpack to go on the trip with, like a nice new backpack. And it's the ugliest, brightest color, nasty neon orange that I've ever seen in my life. So beyond ugly, and it just makes me feel ill now because it's like it's like she was putting a mark on me or something. Like, oh, here's your orange backpack, your bright orange backpack to go on your trip with. It seriously makes me feel like ill thinking back that they do stuff like this. I'm looking right here. I can see like a bike pump that my dad, my FTM Rex dad bought me. Oh, it's bright orange. What do you know? It's stuff like that. That's just so, it, ugh. they really are obsessed with the color orange. Like I, kn I know that my Rex dad went out of her way to buy an orange bike pump for me. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, I was recently FaceTiming with my mom and, uh, changing, changing mat, you know, for changing a diaper has an orange cover on it right now. And my mom was like, wait, what's that in the background? Still talking about the orange object. So they're looking, they, they know to look for these things. They're, they're on the lookout for the symbols and things. My mom wanted to know where that orange object in, in the background came from. And honestly, it probably was a gift from a tranny for, um, for like a baby shower. I, you know, I didn't buy it. I don't know where it came from, but, uh, orange is their color. It's, it's a big color for them. Bright orange stuff. They love to have it in their house. So many objects are just made bright orange. I'm looking right here on my ladder. It's bright orange. And that's the only color that you can really buy them in. They just make them in bright orange. You're just stuck. <laughs> that's just the color they make them now. Um, way too many people have orange cars and just other ugly orange stuff. Okay. Oh, um, so my, my strat sis strat is definitely, uh, I know that they even use these terms like strat. I've seen them use the word strat before. It's funny. Somebody sent me a link once to a band that was called Martin and strat. It's just so in your face. Yeah. Free Martin and strat castrato. So whatever, my, my strat sister, when, when she was about 
I don't know, young, uh, elementary school aged, I would say like maybe fourth or fifth grade. That's just a guess. My sister was obsessed with wearing this particular orange, bright, bright orange. The whole t-shirt was orange. She would wear it almost every day. So that must be around the age that they tell them, Hey, orange is our color. If you're on our team, you wear orange. Um, that's just, so that's an idea that they learn these things around, uh, late elementary school age. So, uh, there was somebody at my high school, they weren't in my grade, but they were a few grades above, I think. And they, they wore orange to school every single day of school, their school picture. They were wearing a bright orange tie and their senior quote was orange guy. This person was just orange guy. They weren't green guy or blue guy or red guy, orange guy course, um, obsessed with the color orange. This person wore orange every single day to, to training high. So it's their color. And I'll just do one more story and kind of leave on another note. So one time I just bought a bright orange hunting jacket. I just thought it was cool or whatever. And it was really warm, like lined with flannel and, uh, or whatever. I don't think it was flannel, but it was a really nice warm jacket, but bright orange. And I knew it was like an obnoxious color. Seriously, I would like open up my, I would open up my closet and it would like shine bright, the orangeness. So it was an absurd orange jacket. Well, it was a hunting jacket. So it was trying to be as noticeable as possible. But a lot of people always loved that jacket whenever I wore it. And I thought it was like really ugly and obnoxious, but I always, people always seem to really like it. And there was one person in particular that they loved that jacket so much. They would always talk to me about how much they loved it and compliment it. I just gave it to him one day. I was like, you know what? You like this? Does it fit you? Cause, cause I would only ra rarely wear it cause it was absurd, but, uh, this person seemed to really like it. So I ended up giving it to him and now I know why everybody liked the ugly orange jacket. It's cause it's their color. And, uh, so I just want to end on kind of that thing. Cause when I wore that obnoxious, ugly orange jacket, it was probably the most like degenerate time of my life. I was hanging out with a lot of creatures drinking and just being a hooligan. And, uh, even then it, wearing bright orange, ridiculous things, buying into the creature culture, no matter how much you do that, they still hate you. You can wear, if you're a regular human, you can wear all the orange in the world. You can paint your house, Masonic, black, white, checkerboard. You can be degenerate and uh, love the trannies and all that stuff. They still hate you. They still will hate you. Even when I was my most horrible and living just the most tranny land life, they still hated me. They just were, they were more glad to see me being bad. They, they're glad to see you fail, but it doesn't mean that they like you. So that's just a message that I want to end with because it's some, it's a message that I've talked with, uh, with a friend of mine about, and it's so true. You, they're happy when you are just being drugged through the mud and when you're doing it to yourself and it's, they can appear like they're more friendly at those times or things like just for instance, when, when times were like not that great, when I was, when I was basically an alcoholic, my family, particular, my mom would like talk to me a lot more often and, and things like that. But she would never tell me to get my, get my stuff together and stop drinking. And it's, it's like they enjoy the company of other people that are failing, but they still hate you. <laughs> All right. So, uh, that's, that's it for this video, and God bless everybody.